Yes. May I help you? I'm Murphy Pendleton. I received this letter today, but I think there's been a mistake. Ah, oh, yes. Mr. Pendleton. We've been expecting you. You were the only family we were able to locate. Your presence is very welcome. Family? No, uh, that can't be. Uh, I mean... Bless you, child. I understand this must be very confusing for you. We've checked the records carefully. And I assure you, there's no mistake. Please, come in. He died peacefully and is finally at rest. For that, at least, we can thank the Lord for his mercy. He didn't leave much behind, but his few personal effects are yours to claim. What happened here? Was there an earthquake? I'll meet you in the morgue in the East Wing, when you're ready. In the meantime, please feel free to look around. We're pleased that the good Lord has allowed us to carry out his work here at St. Maria's. I'm sure you'll find your visit enlightening. So many characters with strange and working messages. Whatever the case, I guess we're going to be looking around this uh, monastery? I don't know. Church? Home of the dead? I don't know. But we'll find out. Continuing the story, do da -de. <laughs> Stay calm when crossing. The oh yeah, creatures are about are much more deadly when they attack in groups. Uh, that was that obvious piece of advice. At least it's not calling me a liar though, or whatever it said before, or that we're all slowly dying. Those are the only ones I've noticed, but. Taking some time to load, probably because this is going to be the next big area, like the radio station. There we go, load in all the details. And I want to see one thing, though. If we look inside the statistics, we are now still 38% done with the game. Okay, oh, wait, no. <laughs> Throw away my golden guns pantry here. This is the place that we just entered, but if you notice, there's lots of hand marks and all that. And I can't escape either. I wonder if that's suggesting something. Like, there's no escape from this place. Religion is never a good thing in Silent Hill, so I can't see this going over very well, even if she seemed initially nice. It's just she also seemed kind of off, and I know not to trust Silent Hill... Where'd she go? ...nuns. Speak of the devil. Oh, we can't go inside there. Oh, give me a second, I just want to look out through here a little bit. Uh, she could have just jumped right inside that giant fucking hole there, Murphy. That's always an option, right? Just need to find something to smash it with. I could have come in here with an axe, I guess, but I didn't, so... Whatever. Can I cross over here? No, there's only one play area for me to potentially cross. I like how he gets slow when he gets to the edge of platforms. That's probably a pretty good detail. Maybe that would smash it? I don't know. Let's go through here, though. Uh, let's see. Go for a stink kit. Always nice to have a few of these on hand. How many do I still have? Twelve. I'm doing pretty well for myself on that front, too. There's something to sneak right through in here. Sneak a, sneak a, sneak a, sneak a. Flashlight on. Or UAV E on. Because there are footsteps. Footsteps, in fact, that lead all the way over <laughs> here. Out here probably leads to the door I'm headed to, right? Little details, you know, that someone or something was going through here, and they had sneakers on. Back over through here, and we guess we'll be following those. Though I'm also going to take a look around some. Ooh, like, what's that? Pistol bullets. Guess my golden gun will have use for a bit longer. Anything else I can note? Not I guess this person had a fiesta in front of this bookshelf, which means I can probably push it or something. So Hold on. There's something behind it. Yep, I noticed that. 
Uh, that's boarded up. That's all fine and dandy. Let's push this aside. I was wondering when the bookshelf pushing is going to come, because you almost always push or pull things. So, Come on, there we go. Okay, I guess it slides across. Here we go. Or what the f hell? What is that? Oh, really, what is that? I can't even tell. Will my flashlight help tell what it is? No, it will not. It kind of looks like blood surging through those things. There's footsteps still, and... This is kind of creepy. Monster coming. Monster... Oh, there's a fire axe, <laughs> I was going to say, though. Um, this is not going to go too well, I can already tell. Let me just reload my pistol, because this is going to get probably pretty bad pretty quickly. Oh, wait, actually, I probably want me to pick up the fire axe to break the boards. Do I want to keep my golden gun? I guess I could do it like this, though. Okay, I guess I'm gonna have to do some trading here. Sorry, Golden Gun, I'll come back for you. <laughs> At least that one has clothes on, though. Where is this? There we go. Well, that one doesn't go. <laughs> <laughs> So many of these mannequin things. I should pick up the gun, actually. So, what's my statistics? Easy on that. Go. I'm just gonna use this golden gun because I'm about to have to get rid of it anyways. I can shoot these things. That's the core of their powers. Come on here. Yeah. 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 my health. Six. Still good. Come on. Yes, I see you, invisible girl. I see you too. Statistics. Watch my health carefully. Come on. Beat that one to death. Come on. Fucking hey, there's so many of them. Okay, statistics. Health time. Let's see what's the next one over here. That down. We got lots of visible chicks over there. Beat the source out of it. Knock this one down too, I guess. I'm nice against that. Oh my gun broke. Alright, the hell out of this. Shadow. So <laughs> I guess I guess I can get this from this, so. Sorry, invisible woman. This one is the only one left. You will die from my hands. Stay. There's another one actually. There's another one somewhere around. Guess not. I'll pick up my fire axe again. Luckily I kept the fire axe alive. I guess there's nothing else in here. But the tension noise is still playing. The lights are turning on. 
Why are the lights? What could have done this? Are there these a lot more? I guess those are heat pipes. I don't, I don't know. Going our way back as the monster tension continues. Save my health for just a little bit longer. Now time to break this open. Anything over there? Nope. Nothing over there either, I'm guessing. Okay, let's break this open. Uh, breaking open this door now. Yo. What the? Weird. But efficient. Ooh. Door did indeed just lock behind me. Well, this is getting creepy. Okay, let's continue our way. Ooh, wheelchair marks, my favorite. After all, I follow them all the time. Cutscene. Hey there. Do you live here? Sister said we're not supposed to talk to strangers. Oh, it's just you. What's your name? Hey, maybe, uh, maybe you could unlock this door. Think you could do that for me? Uh, it's a pretty cool car you got there. You like cars? Yeah, my little boy. He used to play with cars just like that. You kind of remind me of him. Is he dead? Yeah. Did you kill him? What? No, of course not. Why would you say something like that? Because she said you're the boogeyman. Boogeyman? What are you talking about? Who said that? She did. She told me all about you. Why is she crying? Who is she? I don't know. Just some girl. She's always sad, but she knows things. What kind of things? Things about the boogeyman. Look, I won't lie to you. Grown-ups tell kids there's no such thing as monsters, that the boogeyman's just make-believe, and there's nothing hiding under their beds. But that's a lie, because I've seen him. And I have a feeling you have, too. But I'm not one of them. I'm not the boogeyman. Now, what do you say we get out of here, all three of us? Do you know the rhyme? What rhyme? She told me there's a secret rhyme that makes the boogeyman go away. If you say it fast enough, he can't hurt you. Do you know it? No. But if there's a rhyme that can do that, I sure wish you'd teach it to me. Then I guess she's right. You are the boogeyman. Kid, look at me. I'm not a monster. Not yet. What the... I know who the boogeyman is. That was the thing from Silent Hill Homecoming. The thing that looked like Pyramid Head. I don't I haven't seen any signs of Pyramid Head in this game, and the kid is still playing or playing with his car. Why is this, he reminds me of fucking Josh? I hated Josh. I I don't know if I said that when I was playing Silent Hill Homecoming, but I really dislike Josh. That was part of the reason his. I mean, Alex's whole motive. Alex was all right. He wasn't like great, but he was decent. I liked him. However, though, I hated. Hated Josh. I guess he thinks that this kid reminds me a lot of Josh, and I'm not lacking it. Anyways, though, as to say, order. We're supposed to go in here? Yeah, it looks like the only door to actually go inside. I think. Yes, it is. I guess we can't say anything more to this kid, which is a shame, but that's okay. But well, then again, I guess. 
Alex, I mean, at the very end of one side, one of the endings for Homecoming, he could turn into the Boogeyman. So I guess it's not completely out of the question that Murphy here could turn into him, but Murphy doesn't really seem like he wants to become the Boogeyman. Did Murphy kill his son? Something about that doesn't seem right to me. It seems too obvious, I guess. Guess I'll take the shovel. Shovel, shovel, shovel. Let's just go in here now. Oh, we're outside. That is unexpected. Well, this is a pretty cold area, though. This, oh, the, oh, oh. That is a lot of birds. I gotta say, this area is probably the most unsettling out of all the areas. I mean, the library was interesting, and it, there's a lot of birds here. Can we go inside here? Probably. No, it's locked. I guess we're just supposed to go forward. Take the path that life has set out for us. And let it save its game, too. <laughs> save the game of life. <laughs> Stupidity, I know. That door is probably locked. Or. Oh, no, it's not. But I'm not going inside there yet. There's another route that we can take that I want to take first. Well, the music's kicked in, which is very unnerving, actually. It puts me on my edge. It's down. Oh, of course. End of the world, why don't ya? End of the world everywhere. Can we go over to that? No, we cannot go over to that bench. There wouldn't be really a purpose for us to go over there besides to look. Hey, look, there's a bench. But okay, we'll go where we need to go. Ah, oh, yay! Good camera angle here. Very unsettling and unnerving. Kind of makes you think of a part of a remake, though, but whatever the case. Let's see what's in here. Staircase and some doors. And under the staircase, doesn't seem. Oh, I just trade drops in the. There's a doll there. A very hideously ugly doll with a knife. I'll take the shovel. I feel more safe with the shovel. Probably is better at blocking than the knife is. That doll is creepy! And it looks really familiar to me, too. I guess it kind of looks like the Saw doll, sort of. How does it look like without the translucent on? It looks even creepier without that on. Okay, weird, creepy doll. We're going to leave you be. If I have to fight dolls, oh, dear God. I guess we haven't found mannequin, so it wouldn't be out of the question. Oh, okay, <laughs> that didn't make me jump. Uh, I guess we're headed for that. Well, I guess we have to go around, though. Up this staircase, probably. Alright. Entering this. Oh! <laughs> hey, kid! Oh, God. This place is terrifying. I'm not terrified yet, but it, it's making me jump more. It's starting to unnerve me. It's just a tad. Before we follow the kid, what's in here? Balance beam, I guess. Oh, oh! What the hell? An earthquake, if you can't tell. Shit! I know. Come on, Murphy, make your way to this side. <laughs> Holy crap! What the hell? I didn't even try going up the staircase yet after the girl last load point, because that was freaky. Water entrance. Bell tower. This is probably where I am right now. A load game save, just because I want to see if I can go back there without having to... I, I, I like exploring every last inch. Hope, this is going to probably get me back to where I just was, though. In fact, I bet I'll probably load and I'll be like exactly standing exactly where I was. I hope it starts at the very bottom, though. I'm hoping. Cross my fingers. Hope to die. Stick. Yes! Thank you, game. I want to explore before that happens. So we got the creepy girl who for some reason does not have a knife this time. Actually I think she does have a knife. Yeah, she does have a knife. It's just in a, it was I think it was in a different hand. Now if we go through here we have the Whoa! Pretty good scare there. And then we can go upstairs. What's on the bench? A nail gun! I almost didn't notice this. That is a million times better than a shovel. 
Besides, actually, I have nail gun ammo, so I guess I'm gun warden. So that almost got me. Let's follow her up here. It's gonna probably be a dead end, but I just want to confirm it is a dead end before. Wait! See, I would have completely missed this if I didn't do this. Where's a monster, though? It's up here. It's not on the wall. Keep dreaming about birds. What? Keep. I keep dreaming about birds. That is very random. See, I would have completely missed this if I hadn't gone this route. There's a bunch of birds outside the window, I guess. And a monster that's likely behind this. Huh. There's a bell above us, actually. Okay. Really? Good thing I looked. I didn't realize I was that low. <sighs> What's in here? Door's locked. Come for me. These are just masochists, I swear to God. Coming. Going back. Reload. How much health do I have? A little bit to get by. Let me get back down. There's probably, yep, two mannequins. And we just beat the hell out of them. Okay, then out of this one. Alright. Now we had down. How much nail gun ammo do I have left? It was worth it going up here, just because it was interesting reading that and all that, and I'm one that isn't bothered too much by wasting some stuff, so. So let's just go down. I'll use the rest of this nail gun stuff, and then it'll break. I'll probably use all the nail gun ammo before I'm done with the whole thing. Now let's do the crossing paint again. Oh boy. What the hell? I know it's crazy, isn't it? Shit! Come on, game. Oh, Murphy, don't tilt over. There we go. We made it. That breaks open. I forgot about that. We'll get to you yet, Jesus Christ. Okay, let's go right over through here. There is a weird symbol on the door frame. It's probably just the texture. Down the crazy staircase into madness. Sounds like a plan, Murphy. It's pitch dark black down here. And there's a door. And I think that's a that's a med pack. Med packs are always handy. How many do I have right now? Eleven. I'm doing fairly well on them still. Nothing in there. Let's just go open this slowly. Slowly, slowly, slowly. Ooh, look, we're almost there. Besides the fact that there's lots of... I cannot run right now. Ooh, the music! That's nice. Save that. Now I can run. I'm just gonna walk a little bit more. Now I'm gonna run. Here we go. Time to enter the room of gospel. Cutscene. That looks like a rhyme book. I guess we just have to figure our way in there some other way. Probably a key or something around here. And there's more. Yeah, there's several things to explore here, so. And just to look around and figure out the secrets of the rhyme book. I thought the book might be a, a book for a book. I, I don't know. 
I guess I should probably grab the rope, but I want to go over here and see if there's anything inside this corner first. Guess not. Guess we're going out to grab the rope. Actually, I think I see what we're supposed to be doing. Alright, this is crazy enough to maybe just be the answer. Just run right over through here, and then we get do a walk here, and then we go back upstairs. And then we jump atop this top of the chandelier, and then we'll be flying across to our victory. Hopefully it goes as smoothly as I plan. Okay, I guess that's not the answer. It was a good idea, though. I guess I'll take this weapon just for a moment. Sorry, nail gun. This hopefully will work. I guess maybe I'm supposed to hit this, maybe? Okay, that does not seem to be working. What am I supposed to be doing here? I'm, I'll, let's see. Take a moment to look at our surroundings, Mr. Murphy. We got that swinging, and you thought maybe you were supposed to go above, but that evidently was not it, because it was not swinging nearly crazy enough for that to actually work. You would also think that you're supposed to grab onto the rope on top of that thing, but I guess that's not it either. What is the point of the chandelier hanging here? What is up with the church lights right up ahead of us? Uh, oh god. This is one of those puzzles where I'm not even sure if it's a puzzle. Wait, oh, there's something here. Oh, okay. Here we go. This should be interesting. Let's watch it happen. we go. Oh, let's do this thing. Push it. One more. Got it. Yeah, one more time. Let's do this thing. Come on, Murphy. You got it in ya. Then push it. There we go. That was interesting. Momentum. Anyway, let's look and take a look at this riddle book. Hello, riddle book. Poem fragment one. Poor little Stephen Skelter. Even the complaint, even the champlain won't forgive him. Forgive you. Forever lies your pleading cries, but Susie knows you felt her. Oh, okay. Let's see. Poor little Stephen Skelter. Even the champlain won't forgive you. He forever lies your pleading cries, but Susie knows you felt. Her. Okay, I get it. Anything else on the pages of the poem fragments? However, though, but that's... What? Yep. Two of the pages were torn out. That book was full of stuff. Is... Why, hello there, fate. What are you doing here? Guess we might as well break right inside here and have a cutscene. This part, so now we're scaling the middle of the cliff, so I think I recognize this. No, wait, no, I don't. Or yes, I don't. What's over there first? Probably nothing much. I do sense a monster, though. Silly, silly, silly monsters. Just go up here, and we'll be able to find it probably in the tire swing. The tire swing turned into a man. Why are there so many hanging men here? My monster radar is going off crazy, but I don't think there's any monsters here. 
spinning cone thing. Ball hoop. Okay, this is definitely... Now it's a tire swing again. What the heck? Well then. Silly tire swing. What's the theme with hanging men here, though? We saw the conveyor belt full of hanging people, and then there's a hang. I swear I turn my back to you just for a few moments, and then you turn back into a hanging man. What is wrong with you, Mr. Conveyor Belt? Or tire swing, whoever you are. I go over here. Keep... <clears throat> Stop doing that! I swear to <laughs> Take my eyes off you for one second, one single second, and you will transform. Got my eyes on you, you tire swing of doom and death. And... Seems to be pretty fine. I just expect they're waiting for me to turn my back on it. That's gonna transform or something. Let's see, switch the camera around. Still tire swing. Fucking it. Okay. You know what? Okay, it's just a tire swing. I'll remember that. Fuck you, tire swing. Through here we go. There's monster still foot, probably. Or maybe that tire swing was the monster. Tire swing, that's no longer a man. Okay. Yeah, I got the music to play for here. Oh, no, never mind, it stopped. Oh, no, never mind. Yeah, I got to play through here. I thought I was going to get all silent, but I wanted the music to play because it was pretty. What's that? Nothing. I, th I swore I heard something that sounded like a shower or running water. I do hear something like that. Okay, let's see what's on the word. Hello? Hello? So, there's so many to well, they... There we go, that was simple enough. That was a uh, fairly good would have worked, but yeah, decent enough jump scare. Water leaking. That's my type of water leakings. Any other nail gun ammo? Just reload my nail gun. Okay. Frying pan, don't need. Fly coupe, don't need either. What's here in the kitchen? Just sinks and something moving. That's what I like to have. Well, I guess we can hop over that. Not yet, though. I'm almost exploring. What's back here? Nothing. Okay, now I'm about done exploring. Let's hop back over. Hop back over. Young yeller. Nothing to really mess around with in any of these places. Seems... Was that shiny or... Shiny, shiny... Like, anyways, though, uh, nothing, nothing, and more nothing. There seems to be something over there, though. My monster radio is also picking up. Fun in the sun! Thank you! It says something else up there which I can read if I can make Murphy stand still without my controller spazzing out for two seconds. I hate my controller sometimes. Okay, portion surveying. And, uh, portion distortion. Whatever. No, I, no, no, no. There we go. I guess it was just a weapon in here. All right. I thought there'd be something more to it, but whatever the case, there's probably a monster outside this door, too. Is there another door over here that we didn't check? I don't remember. Yeah, there was something right back through here. We probably can't open it. No, we can. A little clothes again for the little boys and girls. And 
That looks like pistol bullets. Oh boy. Yep, nothing else in here, so. Besides a nice painting of whatever the hell that is. Maybe this picture will. Looks like a painting of a barrel and. It almost looks like it could be a room or something. I don't know exactly what it's a picture of still. Alright, so let's go our way this way. That's the door that we came from. There's probably monsters above us and really impending noise. Well, that will open. Let's first go in here then. This room is soaked. Oh, there's a cutscene? You won't find yourself murdered until you face the truth. Face the truth about what? You killing my son? Is that what it's all about? Even though it's obvious? If I did or didn't? Plus the toilet even though this whole place is flooded. If I see in the mirror, this place looks pretty bloody. It's out here then. I want to go upstairs first. The monster noises are pretty loud, though. Or dirty laundry. What is upstairs? Probably monsters. Came the sun Mouse. and dried up all the rain, and the itsy bits. <laughs> What's up with all these kids? What's up with all these rooms as well? That monster radio is going off like crazy in this whole entire place. There's something up there. What is that? It's a picture of a lock. It seems like drawing on it or erasing it won't do anything. Why is my radio going off so loud? I might want to turn it off at this rate only because I don't see any monsters that are coming and it's just like. Uh, uh, uh. You found a silent artifact. You can be the artifact. Oh, this smells terrible. That was an artifact. Oh yes, nail gun for a chair. It makes sense to me. I guess that was a silent hill artifact. Uh, Find in the sun, same poster board. What's through here? Locked. I heard the whisper say, help me, but what is going on? What else is through here? Assembly room, classroom. I can hear you saying help me, ma'am, but I will help you whenever I can find the source of the whispers. Let's go back down, and we can explore over here, though, which might be where all the monster noise is coming from or something. Why is the monster doing that, though? Never seen a screen would do that before. And now it stops. Why is everything acting so strange? There's not a door there. American flag, lots of other stuff here. And a strange painting. And monsters acting very bizarrely. This sounds like my kind of place. <laughs> Getting louder through here. Several doors to go through. Let's try this one first. A 
picture Jesus Christ or something resembling all right for the note what does it say dear mommy and dad uh, dear mommy and daddy please can I come home it is, if it is it is bad at this place and I don't like it the people and there's lots of misspellings here but it's a little kid so I guess it makes sense the people are mean to me they hurt me in the medicine the medicine makes me feel sick all the time I'm scared please come and get me love note notice to all staff I in the future all correspondence for patient blah blah whenever in going or outgoing is to be filtered through my office for my personal review no exception thank you block Roberta Block, Director of Operations. Thank this to me, door for this number, blah, blah, blah. Well, we got some crazy evil religious cult going on through here. And that's March March again. Alright. There's a chair and something knocking. There's a door here, let's go through it. Doesn't seem to be anything of hugely of interest. Maybe something in the cupboard? Nothing in the cupboard. Something on the desk, maybe. Oh! Severe human arm. That's what you want to see. Oh, yeah, you like severe human arms, right? Right. Nail gun. I will use you, but I'll remember that there is a handgun inside this room that I can come and get from a severe human arm. Keep that in mind, just so I know that once I defeat whatever is making all this blah, 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 radio noise, I can just go out back and get it. Lag, lag, lag. Let's try the. That's not a door. That's not a door either. But this is a door. Um. Okay. It's like a theater room or something. There's a ladder up there I can't get to. I need some type of hook or something. Nothing really hugely notable yet. Bunch of chairs knocked over. And... What is that? A lever. Okay, that was like a weapon, but no, it's just a lever. The lever would go somewhere. I guess you could use the lever to get up. Yeah, you probably could use the lever to. Wait, no, no, that doesn't make any sense. I'm gonna leave the nail gun there for a second because we do need something to pull that ladder down. Ladder, ladder, ladder. Can I pull the ladder? This? No, I cannot. Is there anything hidden around which I can use for that? <coughs> oh, I cannot beat that box, at least. Ashing me, but I'll go back and get my nail gun. Only because I want to waste the rest of its ammo before I start doing this other stuff. Though this room looks like it has some importance. Not that. Thank you. Alright, inside the corner. No, no, and no. We'll come back to this room. It looks important, but I do not know what role it plays yet. We did get a lever, though, which might be useful for something else. And I'll remember there's a handgun down there. Good lagging times. I'll go upstairs and follow the girl now. Doo -da -doo -da -dee -dee. Music picks up up here, so there's obviously something bad up here. I can hear the help knees. Here is the locker. The, the picture of a lock pick and all that. I don't know what we're supposed to do with this, though. Doors locked and all that, so going here. What's through here now? Not unnerving in the slightest. Lag was bad, but that's okay. It was probably loading something. What's through here? 
pitch blackness. Oh, fuck. Beat. Okay, there we go. That one's taken care of. What? Did I just throw my weapon? I did not. Time to go down and get the handgun. I'll be back. And go to the terrible lag of that guy. I can hear the help me's and all that, so I'll help you in a second. We'll just go right down and get the gun, and then we'll continue, and then we'll be able to hold on just for a bit longer. Lots of mutterings and help me's, help me, and da -da -da -da. Here we go, the gun was right over here. Here we go. Gun obtained. That's more like it. You got it, Murphy. Alright, go the lag, and next time we'll continue on our way in this creepy area. It really is creepy. Catch you guys soon.